They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Towards the inside, Fair Antonio is right there, and Royal Katrine there, the extreme left hand side. Caddy Masters well positioned. The white blinkers of Asian stars just off them. Middle of the picture is Phoebus, that's in the yellow. Right hand side, La Havre. Walking's in the middle with the red cap about three lengths off them. Then the grey elusive wolf. They are followed further back in the running by Jack the Knife. At this stage, Susie Soldiers, two off the right hand side, about six or seven lengths off the leader. And also amongst the leading division at this stage, Captain Coyote. Just outside the 500, Fair Antonio on the left. Royal Katrina's on the inside, Caddy Masters there, Asian Stars also trying to have a go at the leader, Susie Soldiers towards the outside and then Captain Coyote, Fair Antonia, Royal Katrina, Elusive Wolf's running a big race, Walking is also trying to run on, but it's Royal Katrina from Elusive Wolf, Walking on the outside, Elusive Wolf and Royal Katrina, Elusive Wolf got there on the nod, second Royal Katrina and then Walking. Number four, Elusive Wolf, the Elusive Ford, Dennis Bosch for SM Jerrier. The last jump gets there, number four, Elusive Wolf, and it pays up 10.9270. Second, number 11, Royal Katrina, a nice five rander plays. Third place will go to number three, War King. Let's see then who runs into that fourth position. The fourth placing was close. Probably Captain Coyote, then Caddy Master, toad favourite number 10, and that was Susie Soldier. Further back in the run, Asian Star and La Havre, and then they were followed by Jack the Knife, and then came Roy Royale and Phoebus. So as we look at the head on, the grey in the middle is obscured and then comes with a good claim. Royal Katrina showed pace throughout and looked as though it was going to win it, but Elusive Wolf closes it down on the nod to win and wins its third from 11. This is the Elusive Ford and bred by favour stud Brandon Lorena. Until race 5, back to the studio. Nice win here for this great son of Elusive Ford called Elusive uh, Wolf. Third career win from 11 stars. This is his first victory at the course, his first victory on the turf, and he's found a really good finish this afternoon, Den. Yeah, you, you're just telling me off air he was, he, was, he was really flying back home, and you fancied him a bit. Yeah, this also has, uh, has some type of ability. He just Penny hasn't dropped, he likes to climb up and, you know, great ride by Brandon. You know, I, I, I told him, uh, you know, you've got to work on this horse, you know. Uh, if you leave him alone, he just, if you watch one race, a couple of races back, uh, Richard Free rode him. And uh, Richard can get them to go and I said to him, you know, just give him two reminders that he knows he's in the race. And that's what Brandon did today, you know. Once he puts it together, he comes flying at the finish. You know, it gives you the feeling he wants to go 1,400. Uh, I did put him in a 14 and he tugged a bit, you know. So today I liked him down the straight. Very well done to Sherwin. You know, Sherwin's a great supporter in my yard. Bought me some babies. Uh, I'm truly grateful to him. And uh, just before I go, I just want to send my granddaughter on her way. She's on her way this evening to America. She's going for a year. So we'll have a bit of peace and quiet at home and hopefully she makes it there, you know. No, lovely, Dan. And uh, anything else from your side? Well, we got, got you back at the end. The other was sadly got hurt in the float, you know, and that's just a bummer for Brian, you know. But I, I didn't know the horse well, otherwise I would have travelled him better. But he walked in the float and halfway up there he went mad and, and he got hurt and I wasn't going to take a chance and run him. There's another day. You know, I won't hurt him like that. So, yeah, that's a sad one. But Gotcha Back's got to be back end of quartets, or she could run well. And once again, a very good ride from Brandon. Unfortunate son of Africa, but well done here, Dan. Thank you very much. Lovely. Dennis uh, Bosch, let's get uh, the good man in, Brandon Larina. Brandon hasn't sat on the horse before. So uh, today, talk us through it, because at one stage, it, it looked like, uh, who was on the source, Royal Katrina? Serena Moodley made the right move. Yeah, he skipped a bit, obviously, with a light weight and a, and a firm track. I think the track's firm light. I'm hoping take notes of that. With this heat today, the track's 
you know, it's lost all that moisture that it had this morning. So it's hard to pick back those lightweights, but this also showed a bit of courage. What well Uncle then for, you know, for his advice on how to ride the horse, he said, you know, just get him into a place where he's got two, three lengths to make up and it takes a bit of riding. And, and uh, he didn't take much riding. I think he gave me all he had today. Well, he's, he's a tricky customer, the way you have to time it, and you've done it uh, to perfection. Yeah, anything else from your side, Brandon? Um, Dee's uh, got you back, I'm sure, Uncle Dean alluded to. Um, she's got a stiff draw, but she seems to be running well out the maidens. Again, for Sherwin, well done to Sherwin if he's watching. So hopefully we can have a double there. Um, Salty captain, he's got a lot of weight to carry, but also at the handicaps in, the, in that race, uh, Red Chestnut Road looks very hard to beat. You know, on their last run, I think Red Chestnut Road's five, five kg is better off today. So, But he's very well, and we're expecting a big run. And then O'Reilly at the end um, just got last horse to beat. Yeah, that, that's the horse I'm touching on. You know, you've been riding him at Greville. Maybe Scottsville, I'm not saying going to suit him better, but he may enjoy the change of scenery. Yeah, I think the grass is the key there. These, um, last time he met a horse Mr. Terry that ended up beating him, and he beat that horse on the grass. So I sure. think his, his grass form is a bit more true than his poly form. So, you know, I think Mr. Paul's has only had one run, so he's got one chink in his arm, and, and O'Reilly's well tested. Um, I think Mr. Rivlin does a great job with his aches and pains and he's coming to the course, you know, sound today. So he'll give a good account to himself. Thanks for your feedback, Brandon. Well done with the Sweden. Thanks, Dees. And if I may, this is for the, for the Johnson family. Our thoughts and all our prayers are with you. Uh, very sad loss and, and uh, you know, we just can pray that they will be strong in this, in this testing time. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Lovely. That is uh, Brandon Larina for Dennis Post for Elusive World. If you included this horse in the exotics, well played here for beating 11 Royal Katrina back in third. The best cameraman on course says it was number three walking and that had fought position gone to number 15, Captain Coyote.